Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector here, Portland, Oregon, driving south out of town on my way to Clackamas, Oregon, where I've been invited to come out and look at a collection, which is described as a garage full. And then when you say, well, how much room? Usually what I'll ask a person is, if I was to buy, put that collection uh, in a car, how much room would it take? And they'll be like, oh, I think you can get it to an SUV. It's only a very small handful of people actually have a garage full, but they're out there. They are out there. I do know one person who probably has 500,000 toys uh, and also owns his entire house is full of toys and also owns a semi-truck uh, trailer, which is full of toys. Actually, I know a couple of guys that I can think of right off that do have that many. Hot Wheels mostly. I think probably only Hot Wheels because you're not going to have Matchbox in there. Matchbox only takes up like a suitcase at most for people. But anyway, I'm heading out. Uh, I got a little bit of time to kill because I was already out of the house and my appointment is in an hour and a half. I was going to go to the gym and get some exercise in. And then I decided I would go to a store and look for Hot Wheels because there is a fabulous new Hot Wheel coming out soon. Uh-oh, car accident. Um, squirrel. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a, a new 67 Camaro coming out soon and it is going to be popular. And I'm going to want a dozen of those just because... You know, that's why Hot Wheels are so hard to find because guys want everyone they can get. When they find a car they like, they want like a dozen of them. So, you know, every case only comes with one or two of the really good ones. But man, I tell you what, I'm sure you know this already. If you go out to the store, and especially for you little kids, young people, man, the stuff you see at the store is not the good stuff. I was at, I mean, anytime I go to the store, I can see 500 Hot Wheels that are just awful. I mean, they're terrible, boring, you know, goofy, crazy, terrible, awful. I, you know, I can't even use the words on this video that describe the garbage that they put out. It's just incredible. But they have, you know, some really great Hot Wheels. Um, and I like I like to find the good ones. They really do. It's like I don't know what the ratio is. I mean, maybe one out. I wouldn't even say one out of ten is a good Hot Wheel. I'd say more like one out of twenty. Of course, it might be more than that. But you know, all the good ones get picked out of the case. Guys, you know, adults are in there every morning uh, trying to get into the boxes and take all the good ones. I mean, literally, they take all the good ones. If it's like ten cars or fifty cars, they take them all. And they put them in their garage and then they call me up 20 years later hey uh, I got a garage full of Hot Wheels you want to buy them and like no not me that's not for me but uh, anyway I'm gonna stop at the store and see what's new and uh, if it's something good I'll let you know thanks Alright, so I am at the store. Unfortunately, the music is not playing, so I can videotape. And here is the rack. What is this? 500 Hot Wheels? That's a lot of Hot Wheels. Is there anything good in there? No. Of course not. Tarmac Attack? Mm -hmm. Aristorat? No. Double Demon? Heck no. Pollinator? No. Oh, look at that, it's just silly crate racer. No, come on, who likes that? Really, seriously, come on. There is nothing good in this rack. Jeez. So there it is, that's a gigantic rack there. I guess we'll run down the toy aisle. There's a big bin of death over there. Where all the packages go to be toasted. And there's nothing in there. I don't even like to look. Oh, there's a black... Muscle car Torino. I don't think I had one of those actually. There might have been something good in here at one time. I doubt it. Now look what I've done. Let's 
Let's see. Let's just go down the toy aisle here. Oh, hey. Smoking barrel shotgun. Nice. Bow and arrow. All right. <laughs> there. Let's see. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the toy cars. There they are. Ooh, model kits. All righty. Let's see. What's hanging on the aisle? I like looking at the nine packs. Ah, uh, boring. Nothing in there. Huh, there's something. Look at that purple car, that's cool. That black Corvette looks pretty nice. Orange looks good. Got the yellow on that car right there. That's not a bad little nine pack right there. Look at that black Camaro. I think I like that. Uh-huh. I think I like the black Camaro. Maybe I'll buy it. Is it on sale? Mm, no. I don't get tired of opening all those. Let's see what's up in here. Nothing, nothing. Not time of taxi. And nothing, nothing, nothing. What's this? Huh. El Viento. I've never seen that one before. Guess I don't look for that kind of stuff. I'm looking for muscle cars. I'm looking for the new Camaro that's coming out, but I think it's a little early for this particular store to get anything like that. And hmm. Let's see what's in these specialty cars. Laffy Taffy, air cooled. Baby Ruth, some old stuff, Raisinets, hmm. I think that is about it. I don't see anything else. I'm looking up above. And down below, and that is it. I think, I don't know, should I walk over to the cash register and see if there's anything over there? A lot of times you find the half packs have some good stuff in it. But there was nothing at the register on the door that came in, so there's probably nothing at the registers over there either. I don't think I'll bother. Geez, maybe I should collect Matchbox. Look at this stock. It's crazy. Okay, I did go over the registers and look what I found. All right, I went over the register and look what I found, a Batmobile. That's pretty cool. And a new Renault Sport RS01. Cool. And Cruiser, Cruiser in a blue color. Nice. And now the music's going to start again. Bandango. Pretty cool. Hot Wheels logos. And a couple I'm going to buy.